What's up guys and welcome back to Project Time Garage. On this episode, we're gonna take our free 1987 Toyota pickup and handle a few more of those little issues it has. So let's go get busy. All right, let me bring you up to speed on a few little things I've done off camera because they were just so boring that I didn't feel like making you sit through it. Uh, start off with this. Got the charging system fixed on it and all the wires that were burned up. That's my handiwork right there. Basically what had burned amounted to ground wires. And the ground wires that burned were the one that goes in this loom here all the way over to the side of the block. As you see, I have put a little tiny, wholly inadequate wire there. That should be perfect. And I basically just remade this harness here. Um, the only thing that was really affected, aside from the engine ground, was the, the brake warning switch or plug here and the coil. I had some intermittent uh, issues with the coil that fixed that. Interior is still completely disgusting. I'm not gonna deny you guys the opportunity to watch me fix all that. The bed is still completely disgusting. Also not gonna deny you guys the opportunity to watch that. Tailgate handle, I had to delve into that to figure out what's going on. The handle's just broke. So I've gotta get another one of those coming. Bed needs to be cleaned out really bad. And I told you guys I wouldn't deny you the opportunity to watch that process. So let's go get busy on that. Well, I would say that's a whole lot better, wouldn't you? Remember what it looked like before? Much better. Okay, what are we gonna do next? We're knocking things out left and right on this truck. Gonna be restored before it's all said and done. Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing that's bugging me is this. I don't have any side mirrors. It is incredibly hard to back up without side mirrors on a truck. So let's put side mirrors on it. We have mirrors. Got these on Amazon. Who knows if they're gonna be any good or not. I'm gonna put a link down there for them just in case they are, but you're gonna see what I see. See? Well packed. <laughs> well, they're packed.
One mirror. These should be kind of the OE style mirrors. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Oh, they are. I had no idea. Well, the glass itself is pretty nice, pretty clean. See yourself? Well, this is what we've got for mirrors. We have the actual, this is the driver's side, the little trim ring that goes behind it, a plastic fancy cover, a couple of screws, same on the passenger side. This looks too easy, deceptively easy. So let's put them on the truck. So it looks like this little piece here just kind of snaps onto the back a little bit. It's kind of retained, not really, kind of. These screws are, they look like wood screws. I don't know if you can see that or not, they look like wood screws. But the door clearly has um, threads for like bolts. See how this works. Grab pretty good. Probably two or three complete threads in there. It's way more than you need. Okay. Plastic cover. Well, it's not too bad for what I paid for these things. Doesn't look too bad at all. But it looks better than the rest of the truck. To the driver's side. Well, definitely an easy installation. So there's that one. Look at there, it has ears now. Plus, I won't be backing out and hitting stuff. That's plus. Here's something else wrong. The bed at the top is bent out. So when you go to close the tailgate, the little hooks don't line up. You see these hooks right here, those slide into here. And if you'll notice, when I go to close this, it doesn't line up. But on the other side, it lines up. So what it looks like is this side of the bed has gotten pushed that way. Let's fix that. Here's how we're going to fix this. We're going to take a ratchet strap, hook from one bed hook to the other bed hook. I'm sure all you body men out there have a different way of doing this, but this works. Tension on it. Look at that. I'm holding the levers in. Closes right up. Pretty doggone easy. So the thing is, if I let go of this, the bed will just relax and go right back to the way it was. So I need to over over do it some.
Looks like it doesn't even, doesn't even touch now. It's pretty awesome. Let's let our slack off and see if we've done any good. Good chance we'll have to do it again. It's a whole lot closer. This side is now too tight, and this side is getting too tight pretty fast. Let's let the pressure off and see where we're at. Lots of pressure. This one's dead on perfect. This one is pretty good. Look at that. Latched on both sides. I pull the, the two levers here with my fingers, like so, pull them, tailgate opens, tailgate closes. How cool is that? Now we just have to order a new tailgate latch, and this will be fully functional. Well, not fully functional, because it still doesn't want to close. And the reason why is because these things here, these are like little ramps, and these things here smack up against those and it's supposed to like a like a door latch force them in. Here's how we're going to fix those. good. Go to the other side. bit of chain lube. Also going to chain lube up here on both sides. What do you know? We have a tailgate that mostly functions. We can grab our little rods, pull it. That looks good. That looks good. You want to see a real difference? One finger up against it, latched. Well, look what showed up. Oh wait, this side, it's our tailgate handle. It's tried from Amazon. Let's put this on and our tailgate will be complete. I'm gonna get this whole screw out of the way. The screw boss was still in the tailgate. There's the screw. Wonder if it came with new screws. Well, it came with clips anyway. Came with a gasket. Okay, let me go dig through my stash, see if I can find another screw like that. What are the odds? Check it out. I just happen to have a, another screw. It's not Phillips head, but it's okay. It's got the 10 millimeter side. Work just fine. It's 
make sure our little gasket is all pressed down over those little things. Okay, you see these little, these little tabs right here, these plastic things that push down on these levers? These plastic things have, a, have quite a bit of leverage to them, so there's a lot of force on them. So when these tailgates get jammed, it makes these rods really hard to pull, and when people just force down on them, it just, as opposed to pulling on the rod, it just breaks this thing off. That's what happens to a lot of tailgates. Let's give this one a good old test. Look, it closes back accidentally. How, how good is that? Open, closed. Push it up almost far enough, latched. Let's put this cover back on here. We'll be good to go. She's a little bit bent. We don't mind. Okay, that's a lot for one episode. At least it's enough for this episode. Um, you'll probably notice down here in this area right here, there's that little that little icon. I'll tell you how that works. That's a subscribe button. And when you click on it, it'll give you the option to subscribe to my channel, which you definitely should do. And subscribing to my channel definitely couldn't hurt. In fact, your goldfish, they might get ick less often. You never know. So. Like, share, subscribe. Guys, I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.